जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु वी एंडेड दट ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग अड्रेसिंग द बर्ड इन द केज after that a devotee from nandan bagan entered the room with his friends we saw in the last class what devotee means a one who constantly thinks of the divine how beautiful state of mind how beautiful heart and senses the body which is tuned to the divine which constantly thinks of the divine sinless oh, what a thing it would be that's why shri ram krishna says bhakta bhagwan and bhagavata they are one and the same they are not three real uh, different entities hmm, they are ag bhakta bhagwan or bhagavat ag vastu it's one and the same hmm because thinking of the divine thinking of god he has become god himself mm. totally it is the change such a change to the actually we can see when a child is born it is more with animal hood only eating and sleeping ah and then as it grows the animal would continues even after education this that you know the selfishness and self protection self centered living just like animal animal would continues when he tries to understand others pay attention to others give something to others then he, he is coming to the human when the selfishness is decreasing others concern is increasing then he is coming to the human level from animal level otherwise he is in selfish and self centered living whatever is does he does for himself then it is uh, animal life when it thinks of others feels concerned about others it has come to the human level and when it comes to the divine level even transcends the human level and becomes divine hmm. divine is where there is love peace and bliss in abundance to the ultimate there is no defect of any kind type there is no prakriti nature nature is is not governed by nature he doesn't have inner nature or external nature working upon him he is totally free he is chaitanya swarupa then he is divine so constantly repeating the name of god thinking constantly of the divine he becomes divine whole being and everything and what is it it is a ocean of bliss peace love absolute there is oh, in that bodily existence there is only love love is sacrifice it wants to give its all to others no seeking no any want it's paripurna doesn't need anything just thinking of the divine makes him divine so that devotee bhakta bhagwan why it is called uh, ag can bhakta be equal to bhagwan yes in essence he is he becomes there is no error of the prakriti in it there is no prakriti in the chaitanya 
So he's become Chaitanya Swarupa and lost all prakriti hood, nature hood. There is no nature working from within. Now he is being like this. You know, you know, after some time he is being something else. No, it is not there. There is constancy. And constancy radiating peace. Constancy radiating bliss. It is free, freely moving. Now I can think of the divine. Now I can think of people. Now I total freedom. Now I can leave the body and take up another body at my will without nature's imposition. Otherwise I am imposed by nature. No. I, it is my will. So how, that's why the devotee is considered as equivalent to God. If God is free in his actions, he's not bound by karma. So also devotee is not bound by karma. Hmm. So similarly Bhagavata. Bhagavata is that which introduces, it contains the Leela of the Lord. Hmm. Whole Bhagavata. Now you see the great master book. It is Bhagavata for us. The life of written by his own direct disciple. Hmm. Like Vyasa writing of Krishna or Rama. Uh, he has written about Thakur, Leela, Leela Prasanga. So that is Bhagavata. Gospel which we are studying now. It is our Veda. So that Leela is we are reading this to enter into Leela. Leela of Shri Krishna. One day we will enter into Leela and play there. It is eternally going on. Any moment you can enter Leela anywhere and be a part of it actually happening. Not past recall. Not, there is no mind, there is the soul, you are there hmm. as Chaitanya participating in the Leela. Leela is going on, you are also there with it. When Vyasa wrote Bhagavata and other Puranas, he was actually witnessing it happening at that time because it is eternal. Hmm. Now what happened? Uh, in Gandhiji's life uh, or Lal Bhadra Shastri or somebody um, even other saints life it is all it is not a part of Leela of God I can recollect whole thing uh, like video suppose I was there with Meera or Tulsidas throughout their life I can recall and tell uh, the whole thing what happened. But it is recollection and it is not happening now actually. But when it is connected to the Lord of the universe, a Leela, it continues anytime you start anywhere, enter it, you will see it is happening actually. Not that you are entering into past and it's going, no. Hmm. It is happening at all because it's beyond time. Desha Kala Tita. It is eternal. How much, uh, very difficult to conceive these points. Yet because it is eternal, because it is constantly giving the life of a uh, avatara, and in which you can enter and continue with it. Hmm. Not virtual, actual. And actual present. So it immediately transforms to, into you entering Leela is entering the transcendental realm where there is no time and space. And time and space are created there. And it is happening. 
when you witness dream, dream is happening at that time. It is not recollection. When you wake up, you will understand it is recollection. But when you enter the dream, it is actually happening. You have gone to some place and again when you come back, you dream it. In dream, you see the same thing happening again. Then it is not recollection. It is a re-happening of the same incident. You are experiencing it newly. It has no reference to anything. Like that it happens. So, Bhakta, Bhagavan and Bhagavata, they are considered as one and the same reality. Here the devotee has come. Master looking at him said, everything inside him can be seen through his eyes as if, as one sees the objects in a room through a glass door. So clear, so clarity. The devotee and his brothers always celebrated, always celebrated the anniversary of Brahma Samaj at their house in Nandan Bhagan. In Nandan Bhagan, 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 Bengali pronunciation Bhagan. In the Nandan Bhagan, he there in that place, his house was there, and anniversary of the Brahma Samaj, they used to do in their house. How many people they accommodate, how many people they serve silently. Mm. Sri Ramakrishna had taken part in these festivals, annual festivals they will have, in that Sri Ramakrishna has gone there, many of the festivals he has attended. Means, for God to go to a devotee's house, uh, what would be the status of that devotee? How much reverence he may be having? How much of love and sacrifice? See, God goes not, not only because devotee loves him. Devotee, he may, not, he may be a person like Vidyasagar. Vidyasagar no, was not devotee of Sri Ramakrishna. But he goes to see, hearing about Vidyasagar. He is sacrificing his life for others. He is earning money to serve people. Nobody went empty handed from his house. Whoever went, morning queue will be standing in front of his house. I want this, I want that. And he will be giving them all the solace, all the things they need in their life. Uh, Sri Ramakrishna goes to see him because of this love and concern for the humanity. And he is such a person, he doesn't openly accept the existence of God. He says, if God was there, why there is suffering? And to his house God goes. Hmm. Uh, Today I was writing, God is there for everyone. Uh, because uh, atheists, uh, nastika, are increasing nowadays. When I'm in the West and all, I was thinking of them. Mm. There are nihilists, what are called nihilists. Uh, they deny religion and moral codes, moral codes also, on the ground that uh, life has no meaning. My life is meaningless. Uh, whatever is available, however you have to live, live and go. Life is meaningless. 
on their ground they deny religion and moral codes hmm. they are called nihilists uh, nihil so god then ati atheists also uh, god is there for everyone they may not accept there are few who recognize god's presence who recognize god's presence the moment they see god they recognize i recognize somebody is there in that room i don't know who somebody has come the car has come there standing there somebody i am not able to see they went into the shrine who oh, somebody is there i recognize uh, i don't know who that person is there like that god the moment they seek him because they have already recognized him the moment they seek him immediately god will reveal the himself to them reveal and there are some people huh, who infer god is there if this world is going with such absolute perfection uh, look at the our own karmas every karma to keep accountant give in return sukha dukha what an accountant he must be <laughs> and that perfection with which the nature is working look at the seed formation from the tree with what perfection it is doing the mega is made into micro uh, seed the whole tree has entered into that seed which is going to again present uh, that perfection when it, there must be a you know, powerful intelligence working behind which is a con- conscious power what is that i want to know hmm. through inference he accepts through inference uh, anumana anumanena he to that person he supplies a guru he is not he has not recognized but has accepted on the hanumana and he puts them into sadhana attain me go and do japa dhyana your guru is there he will guide you he brings in contact with the guru oh somehow most of the, all the saints life they have met their gurus most unexpected way and they got and then you see they he puts them into sadhana and gets them attain god hmm. and there are people who doubt <laughs> whether god is there or not doubt to them he sends for schooling <laughs> and go and study <laughs> some pandits will be there giving the scriptures others will be there who can guide them uh, make them educated slowly they grow in their knowledge through the scriptures and saints life uh, then they will slowly come in contact with the satsang in satsang they will get all the knowledge of the god and then they will progress hmm. for atheists he will be waiting for an opportunity where nature will be most favorable and he has uh, a extreme need of a help and god gives that help that suddenly there is a transformation hmm. is it this is doesn't believe in the existence of god hmm. there is nothing like in his life a situation comes no bade ke saal is a mode se jaate hain then 
God will make him, help him in such a way that he suddenly gets the unknown help which nobody can solve, the solution he finds. Somebody coming or helping or something, then he will accept there is a power. And then the belief begins, faith begins in his life. And there are people who are nihilists. <laughs> mm. They say, no, God is... They deny and reject the religious and moral codes. Anybody can reject God. When they reject the moral codes, I want to be, I am ready to be immoral. Hmm. It is very difficult. For them, God will be waiting in ambush. Ambush, you know? Uh, somebody hidingly waiting uh, to pounce upon. Yeah. Uh, uh, waiting in ambush, waiting for his decline of glory. At one point, his glory declines. With what strength he is telling, uh, I don't care for religion, I don't care for moral codes. When he is telling, with what strength, he, that strength goes away. It is called an annihilation point. When he is moving towards annihilation point, he is going to be annihilated removed, disappeared, is annihilation point, God will be waiting in ambush and he pounces in their uh, Ravana. Such a glory, nobody can shake. Hmm. Kamsa, all these are uh, there you see. So God is there for everyone. How beautifully, uh, even for nihilist is there one day taking him. Where did they go? Uh, uh, Ravana and Kamsa, where did they go? They went to his Dhamma, God's eternal abode. Mm. They entered the Ananda Sagara. Mm. <coughs> So, this, this person was celebrating hmm, Brahma Samaj anniversaries. Sri Ramakrishna had taken part in these festivals. The evening worship began in the temples. It has become evening. The temple worship is going on. Like our Khandana Bhava Vandana. Hmm, Arti is going on. The master was seated on a small couch in his room, absorbed in meditation. When in Sandhya especially, and early morning, Sri Ramakrishna immediately will become intoxicated with the Divine. Uh, you see many times in Gospel, it is evening, even in Master's case, Master wants to meet Sri Ramakrishna, uh, Brinde, the maid servant will be standing outside. He goes and asks, is Master there? Is that Paramahamsa there? And she says, go inside, right, go inside, he will be there. And when he enters, he sees Sri Ramakrishna in a, in a half intoxicated state. Uh, he is sitting there on the small cot, withdrawn, totally withdrawn from the external world. Huh. Then he says, maybe that you are meditating. Huh. I will come at the other time. He's not, Sri Ramakrishna is not able to talk yet. He is absorbed in divine thought. Uh, he is asking some questions. 
asking him to sit. But the way in which he is uh, talking makes master to say, oh, maybe that you are meditating, it's your meditation time. Let me not disturb, I will come again. No, no, nothing like that. Hmm. No, no, nothing. Whom for to meditate? What for to meditate? We need to meditate. Uh, we have something to attain, something to lose. All defects we have to lose, we have to attain God, so how we meditate. What Shri Krishna has? has to meditate on his devotees only. <laughs> what to give them? Mm. Like that. Now uh, Shri Krishna is in his room. It is evening. Evening worship is going on. He is in um, absorbed in meditation. He went into ecstatic mood and said a little later, Mother, please draw him to thee. He is so modest and humble. He has been visiting thee. See, sometimes I see some people who come here are excellent people. I I want them to renounce and come. Leave and come away. Why do you loiter there in the world aimlessly? You have grown. This humility. Hmm. Reference. Hmm. He is modest and humble. Shamshna is telling. Draw him to you. But I just look at them and offer to mother. I cannot say, bring them here. I don't know tomorrow I will be there or not. Take them to you. Take them to you. Hmm. If I tell mother, you bring them here, I will look after them. <laughs> I will make them grow. Hmm. Now Savita Mataji has put 1,200 plants there in Sharda Foundation this day, just in a month for rainy season mm. and made all arrangements to be taken care of them. Every plant is taken care and it is rainy season, abundant water. What all food it is to be given is given. So, like that, I don't have any means to look after. So, I offer. Mother is so humble and modest. He is so kind to others. He is well behaved. He thinks of you. Mother, take these people to your feet. That's all we can pray. But Sri Krishna is telling, bring. Hmm. Mother, please draw him to thee. So he, he is so more modest and humble, he has been visiting thee. They are coming to. Was Master referring to Baburam, who later became the one of the foremost disciples, Premananda? Swami Premananda Maharaj, Baburam. Hmm. So, that is it. So, God alone has to release the soul. God alone has to draw. God alone has to take care and make the children, like a mother makes the child walk. God has to make us walk in the proper path to spiritual enlightenment. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu Om